ready. You're going to hold this until we Good finish. morning, everybody. We are live on location with Sue and Lori. And we're having fun. We're getting started. Uh, Debbie's running my phone because I want my friends to know that sewing is not a nine art because when you come to Debbie's house and you're in this room, you're going to find out why. We wanted to get started with our presentation this morning and then Debbie's going to take over and show you her room. We are trying to go out into our community and show everybody's sewing room that'll let us come. I had to ask her uh, two months ago to let us come and she didn't want to but I kept planting the seeds so she let us because I know what she's got and wait till you see it. I hope that we are inspiring you this morning. That's what we hope for this morning. We want to thank everybody who supported us on Black Friday with their uh, experience with Frontier. What a great phone and internet service. We had none for three days. Thank you, Frontier, but thanks to Gary and thanks to Lori with the hotspots, we were able to overcome it. I know there was some double ordering because our website was not connected up to our store so you did get a refund and we're so sorry but with from seven o'clock to twelve o'clock I couldn't keep Lori there and I couldn't stay any longer because Victoria's legs she couldn't stand any longer doing orders but we thank you for such great support out there for Black Friday you got wonderful deals on Black Friday and small business thank you for supporting us one or the other days <clears throat> The first thing we want to show you is we are selling this. This is a Christmas tree. It is one and a half inch strips that's done. We are selling this for $60. What a deal. And this is the back. Just so you see, this is a 36 by 45. It's a great wall hanging. We just have so many samples. So this is another Christmas one that we are selling. It's quilted, it's binded, so we wanted to show you that. And also, if you don't want to buy ours, you can buy your own um, and do it yourself. It runs $9 for the pattern, and then you have to cut one and a half inch strips to be able to do this project. But for $60, it's a deal, so if you was thinking about buying someone something, for Christmas and it's already quilted so we wanted to show you that we wanted to give you a uh, sneak peek of the class coming up January the 15th Jill got this done yesterday look how cute that is and look down here at the darling design on that so you're gonna be working with leather, um, probably some vinyl, but you're going to be doing one of three projects. It's a one day. It is January the 15th. You can do it virtual, or you can come in the store and have lots of fun. Next project we want to show you is the Kimberbell fill in the blank, the last one for this year. It is a pie holder for your pie, and it will be done in the black and white check. So that's real nice. It's $11.95, and we also have the um, products to make the design with the um, leather and felt. So that'll be online this morning. So we wanted to show that to you. And then we wanted to show you this lovely item that's been a big seller. This is actually uh, heartfelt gift pockets that you can put in now. gift cards. And it also, you can purchase from us the medium-sized little containers. They're clear. You'll see the buttons right there. You can put money in it. You can put candy in it with a gift card. So we wanted to show you that. These run $39.95. And our deal this week is this pretty Woodlawn Buddies kit. It's little animals, and it's so darling. 
Um, we've had this done up, but I think we sold the kit before now. This one runs $75.99, but you get 25% off. So we wanted to show you that you still have time to make it. It comes in panels where you cut them away. It's a real simple one, I think. And then we wanted to also put in Deal of the Week, the Winter Manor. We've sold this quilt already in our store. It's a great quilt. It's beautiful. You have to fuzzy cut it. And you get a nice book with this from uh, Doug Lecko, which he does great designs every year. And this one is $129 with 25% off. So check these deals out because they'll be gone. We also have these great gifts to give your friend. And it says Magnificent Quilter is a substantial amount of fabric. So these are regularly $25. They're nice, hot or cold, just so you can see. So this is a nice gift to give away. 25% uh, off and they're regularly $25. Now everybody needs to start with a new or a password organizer. These run $9 and there's 25% off. But what's nice is I put mine in pencil because I have to change passwords. Now, Lori, I'm sure she writes hers in ink. But that's okay. That's just who we are. But we wanted to show you these great deals that we have that's up and coming. Uh, and then we want to go right into showing Debbie's sewing room. She told me I couldn't tell her last name, so I'm not going to. But when you see the sewing room, because many friends say that sewing is a dying art. Well, don't say that to a shop owner that owns a fabric store or to a quilter that has machines like you're about to see. And fabric you're about to see and fill in the blanks you're about to see. And when you see it, you're going to find out that my friends, my customers, and myself knows this is not a dying art. So I'm going to welcome Debbie with her Kimberbell Queen shirt on. And I've got several people that has not picked up their Kimberbell Queen shirts. And they're at the store waiting on you. So uh, Debbie's going to get started. And she's going to show you her room. Okay, Debbie. If you want to head over that way, we will show your stuff. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, and welcome to my little corner of the world, where grandmas play and memories stay. Um, as you know, I like to sew and quilt. Um, I never thought I wanted an embroidery machine until I went to an event, and um, it was all over after that. So, um, I have a brother sewing machine that's in a Meniere, and I have a brother uh, NQ 1600. Um, like um, with any hobby or craft, you once you buy the equipment, you have to buy the gear and the tackle. Well, the sewing gallery is the tackle to my sewing. Um, once I've bought these machines, I had bought stuff to go with them, but I didn't have places to put it. And um, this is a little room. And so this has evolved through a year or two. And I've tried to keep it organized. But as you know, everything on Facebook isn't real. So this isn't how it looks all the time. But we spend many hours of enjoyment in here with my granddaughters and friends and family. And um, I just wanted to let you know that not everyone can, you know, be like this as far as having a room to, de you know, design for your uh, your craft or hobby. And um, this is how I came up with mine. Um, right over here, I call my Kimberbell Corner. This has all my... Come on, Lori, let's move over. We got two uh, videos going on this because I wanted my friends that don't sew to see what a quilter's dream room is. 
Well, um, I have my Kimber belts over here, and um, these are my pattern instructions, and these are my blanks for... Um, Pull one out, Debbie, so that they understand what a blank is, my it's friends. It's just um, a towel and aprons, tea towels. Um, this is a dog kerchief. Um, there's pillow, pillow blanks. Um, I like, when I get ready to do something, I want, I want it here. I don't want to have to run to the store and pick it up, which we're very fortunate to have a local quilt shop in the area where we could do that if we wanted to but no I I have issues and I have to have everything so um I love her um table we're getting ready to show you what I was talking about okay this is my organization for my Kimberbell products um I keep my embellishment kits and well ribbons and then my Kimberbell material and I save my scraps because the Kimberbell material is is priceless and then um, for my extra um, things like well, I just got these clear I could top. I could come here and just get my supplies if I run out <laughs> what do you think Lori <laughs> It's and, awesome. Okay, okay, here's my fill in the blanks and my ribbons and tape. And here's the oh leather my. and glitter. And of course, we, we do say we don't throw away. We try to get everything we can out of product. And this wow. is our felt and our um, velveteen. 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 And then I keep my patterns down here. Wow. Uh, so, let's go over to this side and look at these sweet machines that she has. And she don't have any thread. She's as bad as Kathy Bolton to have all the threads with these stands that they've got. They have every color, it looks like. 460 colors in Kimber, I mean in Floriani. Wow. And this is, you want to talk about the 1600 and the Luminaire? Yes. Um. But first, I would like to say this is my grandmother's sewing machine, and this is my my grandmother, who I love dearly. How pretty! You like it, Lori? Oh, I do. Very that nice. Is, makes it an extra special room. Yes. Grandma's yes. with her. Yes. So anyway, back to the N, the NQ sixteen hundred. When I bought the Lumineer, and we stayed so busy on it. And I had so much I wanted to do, I, I had to have another machine. So I got the top of the line and one of the lower lower of the line, but that don't let lower of the line um, fool you because you will see you cannot tell the difference between what embroidered what. Agree. You get Agreed. the quality, no matter what the price of the machine. And we're comparing apples and oranges because this machine just embroiders. Uh, and it has up to a 6 by 10 hook. Now, um, I also have these tables that I bought from Home Depot, which I did also buy these from Home Depot, too, these rolling workbenches. Um, They're nice. They're We're boxes. getting one. Yes. And They're this nice. is the adjustable height uh, table. And it'll crank up and it'll crank down. Now, um, when I'm doing two projects at once and I'll have these two going at the same time, I can sit there and I can run over here. I can raise them both high if I want to. But um, I organize, you know, everything that goes to each machine, I, I keep together, um, I keep these separate because this is the, um, takes a different weight for the NQ, for the, and so that way I can keep track of that, I keep my clips and manuals in here, 
How and, nice. And these are nice, you know, they, they pull out very nice. You've got plenty of room to store stuff. They're just about one and a half inch deep. Um, this is where I store all of my... Wow, check out the jump drives, you guys. Well, I have a lot of patterns, and I had to fix a way to organize and store these things. I needed storage. You just can't have stuff thrown here and there. And Debbie likes the Susan Buckley scissors also. One of my favorites. Yes. She's there. missing one pair. I am? How that happen? Uh, there's a new green. It's a darker green pair that's small that has the sharper point that... We introduced last week. You'll um, love them. They're That's really nice. So we wanted to mention to you that there's one pair you don't have as we look into your your treasures. Well, we'll have to take care of that. Yes. And um, this machine has big hooks. And this drawer will handle all of your hooks. And they're right with your machine. And I also, like when I'm working on a project, I can... I can pull this out and set this, you know, in and trim around it, and it makes a nice, nice little work area. So, show us the other drawers on this side. Okay, well, I can't talk enough about that machine, but what what can you tell us about this machine that's so wonderful? Well, I'm just gonna say that if you don't think you want to embroider. Go out to Sue's or just go to an event and see what these machines can do. I mean, the first project we did on it, I was sold and I had to have one. So, um, like I say, um, there's different, several different models. Um, but, of course, I have to have the best because... You deserve it. Nothing. Um, well... Not that I deserve it, but it's nothing but the best for me and my brother. And um, as far as the best, talking about fishing tackle again, um, Sue has the best sewing tackle there is. I mean, it's top notch, and that's what you want for your your nice machines is um, the good stuff. And uh, Sue provides it, and I'm so thankful that she is there. She and her staff are very important to me, and they're my friends. And they're a great resource, and they will help you in any way that they can. Um, now, that's my sewing area. This is my ironing area. We've done seeing the cutting area. This... You buy all these rules and things, and you got to have a place to put this stuff. So this workbench I, I picked out, it's a Husky, and it has all these, it has a uh, cord there where you can plug stuff in. Um, this is one of my favorite drawers because look oh, how wow. deep it is. Oh, how nice. And, of course, more scissors. This is stuff that I've just accumulated through the years. But uh, I keep all my rules in here. There's the Kimber Bell Pop Rulers. And then the occasional snack if I need to get hungry when I'm back here walking. I don't want to Some go. chocolate. Yes, There's chocolate. Definitely. definitely. Come on. But I can store my measure sticks in here. And um, it's just nice. Very nice to have everything. I still lose stuff, but... Um, Not as much as you did. No. And here is like my specialty battings in here and my Iron-On uh, 101, which is one of my favorite products. Lori's too. Yes, I love it. And this is my sewing notions. And see how deep these drawers are. Yeah, they're about two inches. And um, these drawers just, they just close themselves. Um, more sewing notions. Oh, wow. Nice. And then I have, you know, you have extra accessories with your, your um, machine. So I have all my extra and my playbook and my manuals in here. 
I, I didn't show you how I stored my stabilizer, but some of it I keep in here now. I, you know, I, I have my Kimberbell um, pre-cuts in there, but um, I have the others in the rolls in a basket over there in the corner. I don't know if she wants to mm, get those me, or not. She's but, got them. Nice. But there's my uh, zippers and elastic and things like that. And this is for when I go to class, I take my extra, um, this is where I keep my stuff that I take to class, when I go to class, I store my stable, uh, starch in there, and everything is put away, and, um, and we know what these are, these are badges where she's attended class at the sewing gallery, one or two day events, and this is uh, Bella Box pins, and um, I just kind of got caught up in those. But um, but this is my project board over on this wall. Um, I have two Christmas quilts on it that may get done in time. I don't know. But I want to thank Travis for my sweet little gnome. And um, if you can show my way I store my stabilizers over there, Lori, under the machine. She's got a basket over there. Yeah, I showed it on mine. <clears throat> so how nice. But I like I like everything at my fingertips and I want to tell you that it don't look like this all the time. One project can make a a, a disaster in here, but um, I spend many hours in here with my granddaughters and there's something fun that we can do and I want to thank Sue and Lori and your crew for being there for us. We are just so fortunate in this community to have them. Um, I want to say hello to Kat. Yeah, we need to be saying hello to everybody. You want to take my camera, Deb? Uh, we need to do our romper room and um, thank the people that are watching this morning. There's my good buddy Christy and Kathy and Patty from Beckley and Patty from down in the county. There's Darlene's. And of course, you know, Tammy Todd, I guess you're the, the quilting queen because uh, you're always there to support us anytime we do our live. And of course, Miss Debbie here. I think she has a beautiful room. She has great machines. She has great products. She's got it set up well. So if you ever need suggestions, I think uh, Debbie's a resource that we found today that has picked out great tables and she has totally did a total thought through uh, plan for her room and it is beautiful and we're happy to be here this morning to share this with you. She has stressed over it. Of course, I was up at 3.30, not because I was stressed. Just, you know, I wake up early. We thank you for letting us share Deb's room today. Um, if you want us to come to your house and you want to share your sewing room, we would love to come. Lori and Sue will travel for you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. We're riding down the road, and I said... This is the most fun I get to have is riding and going somewhere with you. But hey, to all you folks out there, if you need uh, suggestions on how to build your room, we've got Debbie now as a resource to help us. And Lori and I thank you, and we're headed to the store this morning. Thank you.